Hey, welcome back. It's time for Join News Interactive, and uh, we'll be discussing all your responses to the issues we posted on our social media pages. And with me to do this is Mapitsu. Hi, Mapitsu. Hello, Ross. Looking good in your lovely African hairstyle. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, since South Africa has qualified, uh -huh. I'm trying to look more like a South African, okay? You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but you know, I to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. and Instagram. We are joining News on TV. Now, as we know today, some Ghanaians hit the streets to protest harsh economic conditions. Now, you've been reacting to this, but before we take your comments, here are some visuals from the demonstration. <laughs> All right, well, Kumi and Preko was trending on Twitter, and a lot of people are, you know, expressing their displeasure and the economic hardship. People are just saying that, you know what, Ghana is really hard right now under mm -hmm. the Kufada government. But mm -hmm. let's see what you have been saying on our Facebook page. Charles Ajay says, look at the drama. Even in opposition, you are still incompetent. I'm sad <laughs> for the youth among them. Why waste your time for NDC and MPP? Let's wise up and ignore them anytime they try to pursue their selfish interest under the guise of fighting in the interest of the nation. And this one is from Thomas Kofi Asari. He says, I'm downloading and saving this video. Five to ten years from now, it will be very relevant for education. All right. Michael Marmonhelm says, The irony of life on the floor demonstrating in good designer wristwatches, iPhones, and footwear. Simply amazing. And wise Ben Ohenijan says, Get these people to entertain us at National Theatre. At least we'll have a good replacement for Bobokala and Komotie. Yeah and the lives. CC Corley says, let's go and inspect your houses, cars, <laughs> bank accounts, and other assets to ascertain if you guys are really poor and are suffering. Sometimes you guys are just throwing dust into the eyes of the poor just to project your political aspirations. When we measure your situations, there's nothing that can show that you are poor. I think most Ghanaian, most Ghanaian politicians are deceitful, greedy, self-seeking, and only interested in their own affairs. And I strongly believe that the NPP projected the same messages to Ghanaians when they were in opposition. But what we are experiencing or getting from them, what are we experiencing or getting from them whilst in power? I believe that you two political parties are just totally the same. We need a new political party that can genuinely fight for the poor people of Ghana Yes, so that's from CC. All Corey. right, so it's from Ed Yentry Emmanuel who says we copy everything from the USA and other places. I don't see them. I don't see them in this kind of shameful act. Ibrahim says they they need power. They know if they need power, they know how to sit on the floor. How can you disgrace yourself like this and call it democracy? And uh, Tete Humphrey says they are really tired. Or now NDC say we should vote for them. But I haven't seen their policy and programs for the youth all, especially graduates, nurses, teachers. I heard something which I'm worried about, that they're going to cancel free SHS. No NDC government has ever paid school fees for my elder brother, who's a strong NDC man. But today, his children are enjoying the oil money, which is free SHS. This is the first time that I've seen a politician giving Ghanaians part of the resource of Ghana. And this one is from a top fan who says, see, I think Ghana is the only thing we know to move the nation forward is the intervention of God. So the only thing we need now to move forward is the intervention of God. But for the rest of it, all I don't ever think that there will be anybody or any party that would come to power and make things wow, better a lot of pessimism for us. The, the readers there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it might not be trending, but people are definitely still talking about it. And that's hashtag drop the changer. The chamber. A lot of people on social media are saying that parliament won't really drop it. They just want to voice, they want to silence our voices. Uh, while chairman of the governing New Patriotic Party, Freddie Blair, has insisted the controversial plan to build a new parliament has only been frozen but not discarded. Let's listen to him. Maybe we need to ask this to uh, analyze it, interrogate it, and see the way for it. If not today, tomorrow it will have to happen. Be, yes, the timing is the timing and the packaging. Maybe even the parliamentarians themselves have not discussed it. But it begins, the policy making is from the board. 
that comes out and then they will bring it up to them. And indeed, it's not the parliamentary themselves who will have to do it. It will be government. So the timing is the timing and the packaging. Maybe even the parliamentarians themselves have not discussed it. But it begins, the policy making is from the board. That comes out and then they will bring it up to them. And indeed, it's not the parliamentarians themselves who will have to do it. It will be government. Well, if not today, tomorrow. So are we still going to drop the chamber? But let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying. This is from Ed Nene who says, NPP has really come to sit on our happiness, but this too shall pass. And Lydia says, let our youth work. National service will soon be over. Give the young guys something to do, Papa. It will come in years later if the people of Ghana are satisfied. Well, Kabina uh, Amu says, the contractor is crying. or oh, They've already taken their 25% share and distributed data. It shall be well, Mr. Contractor. And I suppose he's speaking to the architect, uh, David Ajay. Well, Alaji Alaji says, I think the best thing to do as youth in Ghana is to find a way to do mass burial of these empty-headed leaders. That's quite serious. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Venn says, until we eradicate poor roads, <coughs> schools under trees, inadequate health service provision, and an employment, we continue to kick against this project anytime it is brought up again. And Nana Kwame says, until schools under, until schools under trees and inadequate health care, as well as bad roads uh, network and flooding are eliminated, there will be no construction of a new chamber. Else the chamber will chop grenade or dynamite that's a very serious thing to say and we mm -hmm. as Ghanaians dare you to bring it up brother says if not today tomorrow same as the jubilee house now we are enjoying it this one is from a top fan abuja Noah, who says and who said it will not be built tomorrow you mpp government said you want to build it now and even gave a date for nanado to cut so for it you forgot and frederick onkala says as long as Ghanaians are concerned this is a mission in Possible. And Mapiso, I have to point out that Parliament has also started engaging the citizens with the hashtag Let's, Let's talk, talk More. <laughs> yes, after dropping that chamber. We are talking more. Exactly. All right. But you know, let's hopefully people will talk mm -hmm. and people will express their concerns mm -hmm. to Parliament. Right. But you know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are joining you on TV. Send us all your concerns and all your worries on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our Instagram page. We daddy, daddy appreciate them and we'll answer as soon as we can. I am Mapita CBD, and if not today, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>